In this video, I will show you how to change your computer name in Windows. So let's jump straight into it. Now to do this, as you can see, I'm currently here on my Windows desktop. You can do this on both Windows 11 and 10. As you can see in my case, I'm currently running Windows 11, but the process is pretty much the same. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come down to your taskbar at the bottom, click onto the Windows Start icon and open up your settings. If you don't see the icon, just go ahead and use the search box, type settings, and then you can open it up underneath best match. Once you're in your settings what you want to do is come across to this menu on the left hand side and click on to system. If you're using Windows 10 the system option is going to be in the middle of the screen. What you then want to do is come down to the bottom and you're going to see a option which says about. Give this a click and once you've done that at the top you're going to see your current PC name. Now you're going to notice a box here which says rename this PC. All you want to do is give that a click and what that's going to do is bring up a window like this where you can rename your PC. So you can use a comp combination of letters, hyphens and numbers. So you just want to enter that into here. So for example, I'm going to change mine to Tech Tutors PC. Once you've entered your new, new name, just come down and click next at the bottom. And what it's going to do is just take a minute or two to go through. As you can see, we've now got confirmation. It says after you restart your PC, your PC name will change and then it's going to give you your new PC name. So you can choose to restart now or restart later. It doesn't really matter, but basically when you restart your PC, you will notice your PC name will now be changed. So that is how to change your computer name in Windows. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.